So here we go to 149, and we'll see if Mitch's brother, Brent Moore, a redshirt junior from St. Paris, Ohio, can keep going against Yaya Thomas, redshirt sophomore from Chicago. This is someone who had a great summer. You know, you're 65 kilogram junior world team member. He actually wrestled Mitch Moore at 141 last year. Came away with a decision. Yeah, he's finished uh, as high as third at the Midlands in the past. So this should be a good match. This, this has the, the markings to be a great matchup here. Yeah, 2-1 decision over Mitch Moore last year. Again, Northwestern only won five duels last year, but maybe their biggest was against then-ranked Virginia Tech, who was at 10, 20-16 the final. Yeah, yeah, from a, a storied program, out of, a high school program out of Chicago, Mount Carmel High School. They've produced many, many great wrestlers over the years. And here's Thomas. Control the right leg of Brent Moore. A nice finish. And he turns it into offense with the takedown. Yeah, 100% right about Thomas. So he went 16 and 6 wrestling unattached, 17 18 season. 12 and 9 last year, 3 and 6 in duels. However, he was ranked nationally in Flow Wrestling's preseason poll. He's looking strong right now. Great finish of that shot. He's doing a good job of lift and return more when he, uh, every time he stands up. He's putting a tough right on him right now. A minute and a half left in the first period. Meanwhile, well, Brent Moore. ACC champion in 2018. Shows an NCAA qualifier in 2018, but did not wrestle last season. Due to an injury, he moves up to 149. Again, this is another one of those weight classes where if you're on the bench of both sides, you feel confident about your chances. Yeah, I'm sure both benches are, are, are wanting to win here. Moore up to his feet. He's trying to get to his feet. Thomas. Thomas had lift and return. He's solid with those lift and returns. He's doing a good job of keeping uh, keeping the pressure on him here. Keeping Brent Moore down on his belly. Moore up to his base. Now, now he's up to his feet. Almost to his feet. 30 seconds left. That's one. 125 riding time for Thomas as well. So a takedown and riding point. Looking strong here in the opening period. Yeah, this is a very solid performance the first period. Came out with a, with a great single leg, uh, nice finish, and has uh, had four or five good lifts and returns every time Moore's got to his feet. That's what you want to see. That's the end of the first period. Two nothing, Thomas. And you know, mentioned that Thomas over the in the offseason got to compete on the junior world team, and so many wrestlers have gotten that opportunity, like McFadden, Mackay Lewis at Virginia Tech. When you do that, how does that help you when you come back to your school and you get ready for the season? Yeah, I mean they're they're competing to make those teams. They got to beat some of the best guys in the country. So you're training to beat the best guys out there in the off season, and then uh, then you get to go to training camps and and have practices, and work out some of the best coaches across the nation and and the wrestlers. So it's it's a huge advantage if if they're willing to put the time in and the commitment to do it. And when you come back, um, typically you know you've learned a lot. You've you picked up a lot of uh, extra skills that maybe you didn't have, and but, and confidence as well. One, right bounds, loss of there is another point for Thomas. And he's got the riding time over a minute right now. I'm sure Coach Storinolos want to see him back in on those leg attacks. And Coach Roby and staff, they're going to want to see more start to get something going himself.
And there's Thomas, Thomas in on the shot. Nice underhook. Pulls it by to a single leg. And, and then nice. there's two more. See how he comes up to his feet. That's what you want. You know, a lot of a lot of the wrestlers, they stay down on their knees to try to finish, and that's where you get rolled around, and it's hard to finish a lot of times. He comes right up to his feet and finishes nicely. And as, as great as a couple of takedowns Thomas has had, his offense, his defense has been stellar. Brent Moore really hasn't had any chances to attack. Yeah, he's been controlling the tie-ups and the controlling the hand fighting and kind of beating him to the punch on those leg attacks. See, so a nice single leg. He gets to his feet, elevates his hips up, and uh, just trips that far leg. He took all the weight off that far leg, so it was easy to kind of sweep it out. Forty-six seconds. This is a really solid performance out of Thomas. And you look at the way that he's quote unquote kind of climbed the ladder since he's gotten in there, wrestling unattached. Last year, twelve and nine, three and six deals. He's someone. You know, we talk so much about Rivera at either 125 or 133, Deacon at 157. This could be someone who develops into one of their strong weight classes for them in dual meets. Yeah, I mean, this is the first time I've actually seen him wrestle in person, and uh, I could, I'm i sure that they've got a, the coaching staff at Northwestern has some high hopes for him. He's, he's a solid wrestler. He's got a lot of skills. He's explosive. He's strong. Stalemate again. Stalemate called with nine seconds. And he does a lot of the fundamentals good. You know, he finishes on his feet. He does the lift and return when Moore's standing up on him. So those are, you know, those are the, the skills that win big matches. So I see a lot of good things out of, out of Thomas here. And he's got riding time over a minute. He's got, had two takedowns, and he'll head into the third period with a 5 nothing lead. Now, a position like this, this is where I'm sure the Northwestern fans are starting to think, a little, you know, think extra points. Five-point lead. He's been in control of the match. Yep, they're putting him up, and he wants to build his lead with another takedown. Deacon coming up at 157. Oh, he's got the cradle. He's got the cradle locked up. Thomas already with two. Moore went in for the shot. He did a great. Uh, Thomas did a great job of, of blocking it off, catching the corner, and slapping on that near side cradle. Now, uh, oh, he's got him over. He's going to start getting back. Now he's kind of he's got to figure out a way to get on top, chest to chest. Moore did a good job breaking the lock, but that's before giving up four points there. And all of a sudden, Yahya Thomas, last thirty seconds, now leading eleven nothing. Great basics and solid wrestling out of uh, Yaya Thomas here. He's going to, he's going for that cradle again. One minute left. You see the tech bench right in front of Moore trying to, the stall warning is called. 52 seconds, so plenty of time here for Thomas. Stalling red. Stalling on Thomas there. I think he was uh, wanting more to kind of stand up and maybe see if he could make something happen off of his stand up. 38 seconds left in the match. An escape awarded to Moore. So riding time still over a minute. So that puts the deficit at 10 for Brent Moore. You hear the coaching staffs yell 30 seconds. Well, Thomas, from the start, just dominated in the opening period. It's been relentless, but he's not done yet. 15 seconds. And nothing from more here, and that looks like that will do it. What a win for Yaya Thomas, the red shirt sophomore, with a major decision. Let's take a look at the back points. Yeah, he, he hit the corner on him and locked up a nice near side cradle and did a good job of turning him. It's hard to turn sometimes against a good opponent. Uh, to act, sometimes you get that cradle and you don't actually get the back points, but he did a good job of 
of getting them over, getting those four points. So 9-8, Tech 